Good, so now we have a series of uh, spotlight speakers. Uh, maybe if the spotlight speakers can maybe all line up on the side so we can move on uh, quickly. It's three minutes each. So maybe the first one can start. For now. Uh, hi, my name is Richard Shaw, and I'll be presenting our work on MRI case-based motion artifact augmentation. So patient movement in MRI can cause a decrease in image quality and a reduced performance of post-processing algorithms, particularly in deep learning. Classical data augmentations, consisting of rotations, translation scaling, and intensity changes, are a common method of increasing data variability. However, artifact-induced variability is not covered by these methods. So we present a method to generate realistic motion artifact data for training neural networks. Our proposed artifact augmentation model is as follows. We first generate a random sequence of 3D affine transformations, where we sample the number of transformations, the time at which they occur, and their magnitude. By demeaning the affine transformations, we can resample the input image volume according to the movement model. We combine the case spaces from each resampled volume to form a composite case space, which then by transforming back to the image domain, produces the final artifacted image. We evaluated our augmentation model on a number of experiments. We performed three tissue segmentation tasks on brain images using NiftyNet and the HiResNet architecture. We used 272 clean images and generated 15 artifacts per scan. Our first experiment was a synthetic uh, holdout 10% portion of the data set. And we observed that motion augmented models performed better over a number of segmentation error metrics compared to models trained without augmentation or only classical augmentations. We then moved to a real-world setting in which we used 106 test-retest pairs where one image from each pair contained motion artifacts. And again, we saw that our motion augmented models showed increased robustness compared to other models. Finally, to assess the safety of our motion augmented model, we uh, computed uncertainty estimates using a dropout sampling technique where the dropout is computed as the, as the standard deviation of multiple inference <coughs> samples of the dropout network. Looking at the figure in the middle, we can see that the motion augmented model, when presented with an artifacted image, produces very high uncertainty compared to when it is presented with a clean image. This is a behavior that the clean and classically augmented models do not show. Computing the kuhlbeck liebler divergence on the output distributions of each model uh, when presented with artifacted and clean data and associating this with the uncertainty as measured by the standard deviation, we get the histograms on the right. And the main takeaway here is that the motion augmented model makes much fewer predictions with high KLD and low uncertainty, indicating generally safer model behavior in the presence of artifacts. So in conclusion, we have presented a realistic 3D MRI motion artifact model for training neural networks. We have shown that there is increased robustness to real world motion artifacts and this leads to generally safer model behavior, which is important for the clinical translation of such techniques. Um, thank you, and please come and see my poster this afternoon. <laughs>